fabulous, fierce ones. Lois Barth here. Welcome to another episode of Unpacking the Human Condition. Today, we're going to talk about the perils of people pleasing and how to overcome them and at least begin the process. So I think people pleasing is an equal gender offender. I think women, I have found that women people please often because we're afraid of other people's anger, both men and other women and also being alienated. Men often will people please, especially women, because they're afraid of women becoming emotional. You know, this is for the most part. So <clears throat> I was spoon fed uh, by a card carrying member of the people pleasing club, my mom. It was very survival to people please. So I totally get it now. And while there were those little people pleasing, like have a kiss for this one, have a kiss for that one, which was irritating at best, it didn't, it wasn't traumatic for me, but when my one moment in my life that I went, wow, I don't know what this is called, but it's so scary, was when I was about eight or 10 years old and uh, my uncle worked uh, for, he had like a knickknack tchotchke prizes that he would sell to the circus in huge bulk. He had a huge warehouse in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I would go there and it was called Slush. Every four or five years I'd go with a big, he'd give me a big shopping bag and I would scoop up all the goodies. And um, I remember bringing them to my neighbor and my friend Elaine to show her my treasures and to give her a few toys. Well, her mom walked in and said, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at you, you're gonna give Elaine all of these toys? How generous of you, how kind. And in that moment I froze, I was like, I didn't know what to say my eyes started to fill up because I was just so upset. And, you know, eventually we finished our playing and she took all the items and I went back home empty handed and I cried and I told my mom what happened. And she wanted to go over to uh, Elaine's mom and explain. I said, no, 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 no. And when I look back, I think it was for two reasons. I know it was for two reasons. I knew something was wrong, but looking back, it was needing to be perceived as kind and generous as if I wasn't, unless I was giving away my whole bag of goodies. And this perceived fragility that somehow if I disappointed her mom, she would be devastated, she would be angry at me, maybe I'd get alienated, this like just over the top a magnification of how people are going to respond. And that, that really endured in my life for many years. And I do believe it was a big uh, factor under my eating disorder. Uh, it drived a lot of my behaviors for many, many years. And uh, it, was a, it was a long process and it continues to this day. But for the most part, I'm really not a people pleaser anymore, for the most part. And here's what I see with my clients and my own process that I went through and with the clients. The first step is awareness and the body is a wonderful truth teller. So when you notice yourself about to people, please start to notice what happens in your body, right? Your body's a truth teller. Do you get, does your voice get high pitched? Do you get a lump in your throat? Does your stomach feel like it's having a heart attack? Do you get racing thoughts? Just start to notice. And when you see that power of the pause before you respond, notice that something's up, you are triggered. Take the power of the pause and to just give yourself some space. And in certain situations, you can say, you could lead with enthusiasm and say, oh, well, thank you for that opportunity. Let me get back to you and sit with it and see if it serves you. Um, Sometimes it's not appropriate to leave with enthusiasm, but just to breathe and say, I've got to work a few things out. Let me get back if that's going to work and give yourself some time afterwards. And those times that you people please anyway, because we all do it in different ways sometime, is to go back and to unpack it. What was your perception of the situation what were you afraid that they would think of you? And what was the story that you were telling yourself about the reaction and how will you do it differently next time? Remember, move from criticism to curiosity. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of your thoughts and maybe some hacks that you use to overcome 
people pleasing. And please subscribe so you'll be notified every time a new episode comes out and share with those in your life that you know who benefit from it. My name is Lois Barth and thank you for tuning in and not tuning out because what the world needs, a world of people who are tuned in. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.